Art Gallery right here in the heart of downtown Lake Charles. Then Art Du Lac would love to have you working on their side to help make it a reality. And today we're looking at some of the pieces of local artists that we have here in the area. And we're talking about how we're going to get that future plan uh, going right now. Because now's the time to jump on board. Yes, indeed, it is the time to jump on board. And thank you, Mary. We're so excited. Lake Charles is sitting at the precipice of becoming the cultural hub of Southwest Louisiana. Art Du Lac wants to be a part of that, perhaps the leader of that, because there are so many artists in Southwest Louisiana, professional artists, that should have a place to show their work, especially to those tourists coming to town. That's right, and if you can build it downtown, we're very close to I-10. People yeah. can just pop off the interstate and take a look. Absolutely. And especially this time of year, people are thinking about unique gift ideas that they can give to friends and to family, mm -hmm. and having a place to purchase local art would be a wonderful thing. That's why we're really excited about the momentum, the movement forward. We've been together for a year. Marilyn joined us a few months ago as uh, uh, Melinda Carmier has joined us and some other ones. And to celebrate all of that, we have a six-week show right now at Stellar Beings so that locals can come see what Art and Lack is about now and where we're moving towards in the future. All right. For local artists that want to be a part of Art and Lack, how do they get in touch with you right now? Send an email to artdelac1 at gmail.com. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. And you have a lot of local artists that are on board already, and we're taking a look at some of their work. Um, let's just show real quickly uh, what you've brought in. This right here is a photograph. It's a print. We have prints galore at Stellar Beans right now through January 3rd. And this is Holly Beach from an original 30 by 40 oil painting. And this is a photograph from Jonathan Nutt. And right, oh no, here's a photograph from Jonathan Nutt. This is a pastel from Julie Garth of Moss Bluff. And I love this big piece that you brought in. I don't know if we can get back far enough. Is that nice? Stunning. This is gorgeous. Who did this? This is done by wonderful Robin Nicole, and can I hold it up? And she's a student that recently graduated from McNeese. To see it up close is to truly behold the majesty of her work. And she, I compare her to Monet because that's a lot of little big paint strokes to create that big beautiful image. She has a fascination with water. Four of her water paintings are hanging at Stellar Beans now. It really is a wonderful feeling. You really get the feeling of that water and the distortion of the body through it. It is an absolutely amazing painting. And Marilyn, can you tell us about the piece behind us? This is uh, Jennifer uh, Robinson. She's from the Ritter, one, another one who has just joined the group. And she has a style of her own. She loves movement and uh, animals, obviously. She, said she did a beautiful job on this, mm -hmm. on this horse. And uh, it's like he's galloping, and uh, she's very, very uh, interested in art de lac, and she's definitely uh, wanting to progress and, and develop, just like all of us. Well, you can see all this beautiful work at Stella Beans, and you can find out more about art de lac by giving them uh, a 